I have my orb or my spherical form all wrapped up from yesterday and I'm gonna unwrap it still has some moisture in it that's good um, at this point I can do a lot of different things with this orb um, in my case I'm going to turn it into a teapot with a handle and a spout and a lid um, I had to come up with some ideas so I measured it top to bottom and side to side to get a better idea of the form and it was five inches tall and about seven inches across I decided um, I want to do something kind of like this um, an octopus and the tentacles coming out one of them being a handle one of them being a spout um, I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna handle the lid yet but I definitely want to do some three-dimensional work um, with the rest of the tentacles and the head and have them kind of stick out um, so that's the plan we'll see how it goes I really want to make a nice sketch before I start um, it's gonna give me a lot of a lot of help and direction along the way when I make my teapot the first thing I'm gonna do is cut a hole in the top I want to make this lid part before my sphere dries out too much so I measured it across and I figured out about what size I wanted to have the top and I actually cut it out a tag board and um, basically I'm going to be tracing this so I get it nice and centered and I get the shape that I want I didn't want a perfect circle for a lid I wanted I wanted an oval so I will carefully take a needle tool or a paper clip or anything pointy and trace around my shape I'm not tracing deeply I just want to get an outline I find that if you cut through right away on the very first pass you have more of a chance to mess it up so I've traced all the way around so I have a line um, <clears throat> it's a little tricky you want to do the lid well when I cut this off it's better if I cut it off at a little bit of an angle rather than straight down it's going to help the lid fit better and I really want to be careful that I don't mess up the oval so when I cut I'm gonna go along this edge that I drew very carefully trying to keep it at the same angle tilted in about 45 degrees towards the center it's kind of like when you carve a pumpkin if you don't carve it at a little bit of an angle that top will fall right through and I want it to look neat so I'm taking my time and I need to have this piece stay intact at this point my form has dried out a little bit so if I screw this lid up I can't just make a new one because the clay has already started to shrink and if I make a new one it's not going to fit the same so I'm going to use this piece that I'm cutting out as my lid and coming around the edge Just a little bit at a time it's not perfect but I'm gonna smooth it out there we go okay so at this point I have a lid that goes in a little bit and I have a hole that also goes in um, I'm gonna take a, a few minutes and smooth these out with my finger I don't want to warp the shape of this um, I'm gonna make it look a little bit better but I want to keep the general shape the same so that this fits back on very nicely 
Um, we're going to talk about how to get a spout and how to get a handle and then decorating in a little bit. But for now, I am just going to work on making this look a little bit nicer. Um, it's better to smooth out with a dry clean finger or maybe some sort of a wooden tool. Um, don't put water or slip on your clay. Sometimes people think that that's the answer, but usually it causes more problems than it fixes. So I'm just gonna work on smoothing that out right now.